Welcome to Waldorf Music, and thank you for choosing an Iridium Core. We hope you will enjoy using the synthesizer. To make it as easy as possible to get started, we will show you the most important steps in this video. We are going to give you an overview of all the relevant functions and will later cover them in more depth in separate videos. When you switch the synthesizer on for the first time, a start screen will appear with a message to keep the synthesizer up to date. With regular updates, you can find the latest OS versions and other useful information in your Waldorf account in the My Hardware section. The detailed manual is available as a download from our support page. You can find also FAQs which cover the most important questions. The OS version currently installed on your Iridium core is displayed in the global settings on the system page. Here you can also perform an OS update. Before we get started, we should adjust a few settings. At startup, either the first preset or the last one used is loaded. The selection can be made in the global settings. Here you can also change the brightness of the display and the LEDs as well as determine the behavior of the potentiometers in the edit area. For example, whether a parameter is changed immediately or only when the previously set value has been reached. We recommend the catch setting. In this case, the value is changed immediately, but a large and abrupt parameter jump is prevented. If you move one of the four rotary knobs below the display, a selection field appears at the bottom right, which you can use to reset the previously saved value of the parameter or assign an external MIDI controller. From here you can directly jump to the modulation matrix to create an entry. The duration how long the window is displayed can also be set here. Between one or two seconds of pop-up time is a good value to work with. In the MIDI menu, you can activate the desired inputs and outputs, set MIDI channels, or activate the MPE function if required. If you have a USB MIDI keyboard or controller is connected via the USB controller port, you can also make the appropriate settings here. This is followed by additional settings for synchronization via MIDI clock and MIDI CC mappings. More on this later. Now connect the synthesizer to an amplifier via the audio output or use a headphone. All Iridium and Quantum models have more than 1500 preset sounds right from the factory. These are also called programs or patches. To access the overview of all presets, press the Load button at the bottom right. A program can be selected with the main encoder and loaded by pressing the encoder. You can also call up a specific program number. Select the number entry field, enter the preset number and confirm with Return. Let's take patch 86 ARP2 as an example. Because a sequence has been programmed into the patch, it can be started using the pad buttons. Press the latch button to hold the note. The control button takes you to the pad settings, where you can change the octave position of the pads, among various other things. There are different functions for the macro buttons on the right-hand side. If the macro button is switched off, the functions printed on the housing are valid. In the POTS menu, you will find the settings for the four potentiometers under the display. The default assignments are printed on the housing. From left to right, these are filter 1 cutoff, resonance, as well as the global effect intensity and the main volume of the Iridium core. You can also assign your own mappings. You can choose the last parameter that has been used to the patches. For example, if you have previously changed the frequency of the digiformer, this parameter is inserted here. If you select the mod source function, 
the potentiometers take over control of the parameters assigned to them in the modulation matrix. The modulation matrix is accessed via the MOD button. Up to 40 entries can be created here. The MOD symbol indicates if a parameter is available as a modulation target. If you now tap on the MOD symbol, a list with various functions appears. The first three entries are related to changing values using the encoders. Normal, fine or superfine. If you want to modulate the parameter, select the modulations field. An entry is now automatically created in the modulation matrix. In our example, the filter frequency is the target. The most important modulation sources, such as pitch bend, pedal, aftertouch and velocity, are also offered. To select further sources, go directly to the modulation matrix, and the entire selection is available there. All quantum and iridium models have two independent layers, with three oscillators each. Six LFOs, six envelopes, two digital multimode filters, plus a digital former. There is also an extensive effect section available in each of the two layers, which offers up to five effects simultaneously. A large selection of algorithms is available for each of the five slots. One out of the five available synthesis forms can be assigned to each oscillator. Wavetable, classic waveforms. Particle including sampling and granular. Resonator and the kernel synthesis, FM. The volumes of the three oscillators in a layer can be adjusted via the mix page. All three oscillators are active in patch 86 RP2. Waveforms is set for oscillators 1 and 2 and a resonator for oscillator 3. The synthesis type is displayed in a specific color. We select oscillator 2 and select one of the other synthesis forms. Wavetables are blue. Waveforms are green. Particle is dark blue. The resonator is red. and the kernel synthesis, FM is purple. Each of the five synthesis forms has a folder with pre-made settings that can be called up. In kernel mode, you will also find templates. This is very practical and gives you a good overview of the sound possibilities of the available synthesis forms. You can also save your own templates here, which you can quickly call up again in new patches. If you want to use both layers at the same time, you need to create a multi. This can be done on the master page via the voice menu. First, select the two layers you want to connect. In our case, we already have the patch ARP2 on layer 1 and select patch number 17, Marimbantum, for layer 2. The best practice is to first save this new combination to a free memory location.
for a simultaneous use on two different MIDI channels, for example with a door, select Split. In this mode, the split point is ignored. If you want to play a split sound via a connected keyboard, also activate the Apply Split to Inputs function on the MIDI page in the global settings. Let's choose patch number 9 as an example, Bottle Bank Split. If the notes of the arpeggiator should be held while playing via an external keyboard, activate the Latch Inputs function in the MIDI input menu. We now load patch number 17, Marimbantum, and get a message on the display. If a single program is loaded after using a multi, as we have done in our case, we will be asked whether the multi program used should be completely replaced by the new single layer patch, or if the single program should only be loaded into the selected layer. In this case, we want to replace the entire multi. but let's go back to the layered sound we saved earlier. Layer 1 uses a sequencer and Layer 2 the arpeggiator. Both are active and invite you to experiment. Select the different layers, change the volumes via the master menu, and try out the different synthesis types. Listen to the various filter models and explore the extensive effects section.
At the end of this video, I would like to show you the Perform page. Here you can find some performance tools such as modulation, pitch, aftertouch and pad velocity. This is practical if no keyboard is connected and you want to use modulation or aftertouch. An XY pad offers a creative type of control and is available as a source in the modulation matrix. And of course, the favorites. On the one hand, you can save your favorite sounds here and call them up quickly during a live performance. The favorites can also be called up via program change messages. There are six banks available with 20 slots each. We hope we have given you a good overview of the most important functions so that you can embark on an exciting journey into the sound universe. There is certainly still a lot more to discover and we hope you enjoy it.